am alive, am alive, I am live, yes I am live, I'm making my own music, cause I don't know how to enable the extensions, but I posted everything everywhere. <laughs> okay, so hi, um, so this is an unexpected stream. Because, um, I'm not joking. I did not think that, um, y'all saw the title. I was not expecting Lover Watch to come out today. I, I thought it was going to come out on, like, the 14th. And that the event started itself on, like, the, um, 13th. And that I would just play it on the weekend. But I, I promised myself I would play it as soon as it came out. I've been avoiding spoilers like the plague. <laughs> Um, I want that secret ending though. Um, so as you saw from the title, I am a filthy Han shipper. I love Hanzo Shimada and Cole Cassie together, and I hope that's what this game is. Um, I'm not joking. I had to add new stream overlay chats. I had to add um, I had to remember I had to add my desktop back to the um back to like the OBS. So let me just go to my streams. Yeah, so I have the game up and running. Um, I hope the sound quality is good. I actually hope I can get this to full screen. I don't know if I can, but um, yeah. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. <laughs> Damn near forgot. Uh, There we go. Okay, I just want to jump right into it. You y'all are gonna see me giggle. Y'all are gonna see some weird shit. <laughs> oh god, I'm nervous. I'm nervous to play this game. I shouldn't be nervous. Oh god, okay. Okay. It's like, see, you you have already been roped in. <laughs> I pun. Y'all have already been roped into this. You cannot escape this. So so let's get started. <laughs> okay. Is there sound? Is it loading or do I just click on it? I think it's just loading. And there's no desktop audio, by the way. It's disturbing. Like, that is what's disturbing me. There is no desktop audio. Oh, there it goes. God, I hope it's not too loud. Oh my god, oh my god, oh no, oh no. Oh, what if there's voice acting? I can't handle it if there's voice acting. I'm cringing and I'm excited. Stop it, bud, I know. Yes, he is, he is daddy. Can, wait, can I put this in full screen? Uh, my language is English, so let me do that. Um, I'm gonna do large because I have pretty bad vision. Okay, so can I just not go full screen? Rewards. I haven't, I haven't got any more to- Oh god, oh god, I, I love it so much, but like, oh god, this is something I should play- Well, correction, I like dating sims, but I would normally play something like this in private. I cannot stop staring at this man's abs. God. Okay, let's just start. Let's just start before I lose my nerves. Let me, let me before I lose my nerves. Aha. Thirsty. <laughs> y'all really had to say, y'all really had to say official but not canon. Y'all didn't have to say that. It could still be canon, by the way. I wonder if you can get them to date each other, or it's like if you're dating the one. If, if we're dating one person, I personally want to date Cole Cassidy. Like I, I like cowboys. Uh. Okay, so you. Okay, so that's that. Okay, now 100 percent more. <laughs> it's like it's a not canon game, but it's 100 percent more official. Uh, can I? Oh yeah, let me put that away. So you really can't put this in full screen. This is the fullest I can get it. I wonder, should I just like resize it? So it can be a little bit like fuller or should I just have it the regular size? 
Because I, I wasn't expecting it not to be able to go full screen. Yeah, because I'm looking at it still feels too damn small. Also, uh oh. Wait, 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 hang on, hang on, sorry. I want to move the uh, stream live chat overlay to somewhere else since I'm gonna have Lover Watch over here. I might as well have the chat overlay like right under my face. Yeah. God, I gotta remember to move that back. Okay, so I guess I want to make it a bit bigger. Hang on, y'all. I know, I know. We're going to get back to the game in a second. I just want to make sure everybody can see and everybody's having a good time. And, you know, it, I, even, I even made sure OBS would not crash. Okay, we're going to resize you again. I just want it to be as, like, big as possible. So you can just, because I want everybody to see. I don't, I don't want to like half-ass it. Because y'all need to like, I want y'all to see every single bit and suffer through it with me. Okay, so, uh, like, okay, so maybe that's too big. Because I still kind of want, I know, I'm a bit anal about this. I know, I like, I like good positioning. Okay, I'm gonna keep y'all, like, right about here. Okay. Uh, okay, 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 I'm done. I'm done messing with it. I'm done messing with it. Also, like, this music, though. They did not- they did not have to go this hard with the music. God, I am so scared. What if there is voice acting? Y'all, what if there's voice acting? I can't. Okay, 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 okay. What the hell? Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> okay. First tell me what non-canon means. I know what non-canon means. I'm a fangirl. Let me play. Um... Should I use my actual name? Should I use my... Uh... What's my name? Uh, I guess I'll put my regular name. Type Cassidy will be fun. You know what? I'll do that. God, what if he's in the game? So it'll be like Cassidy Cassidy. Your name is Cassidy. Continue. Yeah, let's, let's head into this. God, I am not ready for this. I hit continue. Is it taking a minute to load? I already hit continue. Is it gonna take a minute? Um, I hit the continue button. What happened? Oh, you can have like, okay, so you have three, six, nine, okay. Okay, there it goes. Okay, cause I'm wondering what was taking it so long. Uh, Friday. Oh, the artwork's actually really nice. It looks like a legitimate dating sim though. Yeah, the arrows just make it go too fast. Um. Oh God, I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> why, why am I doing that? I could I could have not streamed this. I could have played this in the privacy of my own room and fangirled. I am not ready if there's voice acting. Paul if Paul is out there listening, I'm not ready if there's legitimate voice acting. Okay, um Did my chair shrink? No, it didn't. Okay. Okay, you can use the laugh after the wiki had. Yeah, so that's basic dating some stuff. 
but you love watching people bomb on open mic. That's actually like a thing. I hate, and I actually hate that that's a thing because, well, correction, it's a thing because it's good for the comedians to test out their materials, but then like, but then it's like, you know, it's like, it hurts on the inside when people like don't laugh at your jokes. It really does. Sometimes that people is you. Am I laughing at the people failing or am I like the one bombing on stage? I don't know. And I don't know, am I gender neutral in this? Cause I do go by they, them. So it would be helpful if I'm gender neutral in this. God, oh God, the more I play, the more, I'm so nervous. Like, hey God, <laughs> bombing on stage, oh God. In the corner. Oh God, I don't want to know who's in the corner. I don't want to know who's in the corner. I'm not ready. <gasps> why Why did I do this to myself? I made, I made a promise to stream it live. Oh God, I need more moral support. <laughs> Hang on, let me text someone. <laughs> I need more moral support. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta, I, I'm gonna text somebody really quick. So, so, I'm in desperate need of moral support. <laughs> of more, of what? Not, there's not a T in moral, of moral support on stream. Plague, lover watch, and my, well, correction, because I'm this lovely shade of brown, you can't tell that I'm blushing. Or can you? I don't know. I actually don't know if black people can blush. I'm not joking. It's like, I can feel myself getting like hot and my face doesn't get any darker, so. Okay, hang on. I'm just, I'm just texting some friends because it's like, I don't want to suffer through this alone. <laughs> Pinkie Pie from My Little Pony put it best. You're nervous and excited. Nerves. I can't pronounce that. I, I feel that. I feel that pun. I'm text, I'm texting all my friends. Hang on. It's like, okay, God, I need moral support. And so I'm gonna be like, like, so I'm playing this game live right now. I could use the moral support. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> okay, I have to, I have to continue. Nervous and excited. Nervo sided. Okay, nervo sided. Okay. God, the fa okay, the faster, the faster I stop, the faster I get over it. Okay, I don't want to look. I don't want to look. I suggest. Okay, I don't want to look. I'm not looking. Hang on. Is that who you think it is? It's Mercy. It's Genji. Why are there only two options? Exactly. Why are there only two options? Why are there only two options? That's the early one. Reinhardt. Is Reinhardt in this game? Oh. Well, pace yourself there. You haven't even had your first date yet. I don't want them to date me. I want them to date each other. Oh my god, oh my god, why why did I do that? Oh god, okay, okay. Center myself. I am exposing myself for the greater good. <laughs> the two options are plenty. Maybe we'll in the future. Hang on. Hang on, Blizzard. Hang on, hang on. I need to go to camera talk. Hang on. Blizzard, Blizzard, are you Is the math mapping? Are we gonna have more? Are you gonna finally make them date each other? Like, I want Far Mercy. I want uh, Yihan. I want Hanzo and Cassidy together. I want, 
<laughs> I, I, I want this. It's like, what do you mean in the future? Let me go back to stream. Okay. We're not saying that this is some kind of test version of a more robust date. This is a test version of a more robust dating adventure. And, but we're also not not saying that. You see this face? I wonder if, if it's free because they want to see how many clicks it gets. <laughs> Pawn, you you get the sentiment. We're also, what do you mean you're not, not saying that? Okay, now, who do you see in the corner? Um, I kind of want to do Genji first. Mostly because I think maybe doing Genji first gets me to Hanzo faster. It's get. Oh, okay. The artwork actually is not too bad. I like that. The lines are really sharp, and it kind of and it does give it that like anime feel. It's Gen. <laughs> it's Genji. <laughs> Ninja Cyborg and all around bad. Y'all, why, why the wording? Oh my. It reminds me of the. Yeah, the Dream Dad. I love the Dream Daddy sim. I might play that on stream. Um, because like, uh, I don't see my play that. I think I own that. I might play them on stream. I do love dating sims, um, but it's like, oh, this is different. I actively write fan fiction about these two. Okay, no matter how many times you blink, he's still there and you're completely starstruck. If I met Genji in real life, would I be star- that's the thing. So because so here's the thing. I work um background a lot on like movies and TV shows. So I've like seen like famous people like up close and personal. Like I think like the most famous is maybe Tom Holland. Like that's about it. But like but like I don't know. I don't get starstruck. I've never been starstruck. Even when I've met like a famous person that I want to meet. Uh I don't want to say love struck because no, love takes time. I don't want to say I'd be stunned in a good way to be on. Yeah, I'd be stunned in a good way too. But I don't want to put fear struck because I'm not afraid of Genji. Like, you might be a cyborg, but like, like I'm a black woman in America. You gonna catch these hands. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Yeah, Starstruck makes the most sense. He is, he is famous in this universe. So I'll do Starstruck. What the? Oh my god! Why? When love struck. If, oh god, I should have saved. I should have saved because. It's so cheesy. So I guess if I picked love struck, it would have given me hearts. And I guess if it was fear struck, it would have given me those like squiggly fear lines. You're amazed he can be seen in public without hordes of fans smothering him. Wait, yeah, it does occur to me. Technically, everyone in Overwatch is famous. Even though, like, because that's the thing. Most of them <clears throat> are wanted, but they are famous. Like, technically, Genji is a wanted criminal. Um, Cassidy is a wanted criminal. Hanzo's a wanted criminal. I think Mercy got a pass because she's a doctor so she didn't actively participate in a lot of the missions so that would make sense too uh but winston is <laughs> furries furries it's either furries or bestiality and there's a fine line between both still you love to get not a yeah, okay, yeah, that that's more like me. I, I would actually like to get an autograph. Maybe a handshake. Wait, it, it occurred to me, can, I wonder if again, I wonder how Genji's hands will feel because he is in a cybernetic body, so I wonder if he has like, um, something for like temperature control because is it's mostly, what, metal on the outside? Because he's still a human on the inside, just really damaged human. 
Maybe he'll even say your name. I named myself Cassidy. Oh my god, I named myself Cassidy. What? Wait, hang on, hang on. I was not prepared. I was not prepared for this. Oh my god. <laughs> um. Hans? Uh, hi, hi. I'd rather date you, Hans. Um. What if. Oh, I kind of want this to be like, um funny like honey pop or like honey pop too where like q is like basically like so here's x y and z and what you need to do but it's like also very self-aware okay here's the thing i i don't mind this design but like so first and foremost what color are hanzo's eyes because periodically it's either i think it's either blue when he uses his dragons or it's like um, what's it called? What's it called? It's either, sometimes, it, some people write it as gray, sometimes it's brown, sometimes it's blue. I think technically he's like a hazel. His eyes are hazel. Yeah, his eyes are always brown, but then like, I don't know, like, it varies via skin, I guess. Um, so here's the thing. I don't, my, is he blinking? Did he blink? I don't- Oh, he is blinking. Oh no! Oh no, he's blinking. Okay, so here's the thing. The design itself, very cool, very anime, but Hanzo's face is giving me- <laughs> Yes, he blinked. So, so what this is giving me is more of, um, because here's the thing, this doesn't feel like Hanzo. Like, I, I like the outfit on Hanzo, but the face isn't giving Hanzo. It's giving- I don't know if anybody else plays League of Legends. It's giving that one archer character from League of Legends. I don't know. I guess like they 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 did change up a lot of his look, and it is hard to get him in cartoon form because Genji's so perfect. Genji has a mask, and he's already kind of robotic. Hanzo sometimes feels like he's an afterlife. I like him. Okay, good. There's no. Okay, there's no voice acting. Okay, there's no voice acting. Hopefully, oh my god, what if there's sounds though? You know those like sounds that the dating sims make where it's like, huh, ah, ah, where it's like the, the weird ass moans and shit. Do I hear the sound? Do I hear the sound of a heart beating fast and smell the sweat on your palm? Uh. He blinked. <laughs> Were you? Hun, were you having a staring contest with the dating sim? He's still blinking, by the way. I'm Cupid, the hero of love in all its varieties. <laughs> that no is very suspicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Okay, um, in all its varieties, it is my sworn duty to answer the cries of all those who desire love and guide them to fulfillment. Okay, do I reg I kind of regret now that there's no voice acting. I kind of want to hear this in Paul's voice now. You look around wondering- Yeah, same, like, I feel like I'm hallucinating- Or I wonder if this is Honey Pop Rules where it's like, he's real, but only you can see him or hear him. So it's like, you're a lunatic. <laughs> Don't worry. You're the only one who sees me. Hey. <laughs> okay. I do not interfere in the mortar room, so consider me the angel on your shoulder who will point you in the right direction. That does not make that... Th th that does not make it any better. So it's like, so basically I'm a lunatic. <laughs> Okay, that's a definite maybe on the hallucination thing. But maybe the hallucination can help you. It's weird to see Hanzo acting like this, right? Especially when Blizzard writes it. The depressed boy acting this way. Yeah, because here's the thing. The way that, like, I... Okay, here's the thing. The way that I imagine Hanzo, I imagine him similar to, like, Bayonetta. Where, like, you know, he's depressed, he's sad, but, like, you know... He has pride in his fighting abilities, which is slightly more canon to Hanzo. 
And here's the thing, like, honestly, if they made Hanzo as Bayonetta, I'd buy so many copies of the game. I, I like, they could take all my money. Like, I want Hanzo summoning demons and, like, all his clothes going away. <laughs> oh, God, I really am exposing myself right now. A uh, hallucination that can help you. Now tell me, are you in love? This man is full-on blushing. He is blushing. Like, my eyes are not deceiving me. This man is blushing. Hold up. You're not cute. You're Hanzo Shimano. <laughs> okay, nope. That's just... I want to go with my baseline anxiety. But hang on. This is spicy. I think so. I do. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna call his ass out. I don't want to watch. Did they reference the- oh my god. Oh my god. Which of- wait. Why are- wait, so is this like promotion or are we aware that we're a cartoon character right now wait are we aware that we're a cartoon character is this like a cheeky for wall yeah where is this going i get so we just so we just gonna sit here and pretend that this is not hanzo shimada <laughs> We're not gonna pretend that this is not the sexiest man in Overwatch. We, we just gonna sit here and pretend. Okay. I get that a lot. Bruh. Bruh. So this game wants us to have suspension of disbelief and in, and basically war deniability. <laughs> I would scream into a pillow too, but I can't because then I blow the mic out. <laughs> so um wait, so here's the thing. I, I have a like slightly personal headcanon that every single skin in Overwatch is also like an alternate timeline. So there's an alternate timeline where Hanzo's a demon. There's an alternate timeline where he's like a Kabuki. There's an alternate timeline where he's a cyber ninja. So I guess in this alternate timeline, he is indeed Cupid. Oh God, that, that messes with my brain a little bit too much. Cause like, I'm thinking like, oh my God, I'm thinking of all the alternate timelines. That means in an alternate timeline, he could still be the head of the Shamata clan. However, it's entirely possible that Hanzo and Shimada will have a skip. I'm done. <laughs> Stream's over, y'all. Bye. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm joking. I... <laughs> I, I have to play this through to completion. I need that um, highlight intro where he's kissing me. Oh my god. I know, right? The promotional shit. Like, sir. What, what a coincidence. See, now I'm regretting naming myself Cassidy. Can I go back? Wait, I want to go back and I want to put my name in. I'm going to save where I am. And I'm gonna like. Let me go to the title. Yes. Give me a new game. I'm gonna name. Cause I wanna name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me play. I'm gonna name myself because it's like, okay. So I'm just gonna rename me as myself. Yes, set the scene already. Uh, why are there only two options? We know what happens. It's Genji. We're starstruck. 
we get the Star Spangled Banner. Hanzo comes in. That. Okay, there we go. What a coincidence. Now, indeed, tell me, are you feeling the signs of love? I kind of want to put it to my baseline anxiety. Nope, that's just my baseline anxiety. Anxiety and affection can sometimes feel similar, but fear not, I'm here to guide you through all of love's interest. Well, that's not helpful. <laughs> That is not helpful. So, do you wish to win the heart of Genji? I mean, I guess. Wait, there was another option, wasn't there? Yeah, there was another option. There was. Not anymore. Oh, okay, so I just... Yeah. Okay, that was weirdly ominous. I will not ask again. Okay, so you can have... Okay, so I guess that's why there's so many save files. Okay. Yes, I want to win the heart of Genji. Why, why did I say that so enthusiastically? Genji, truly? Sir! Sir, were you not asking me a second if I was in love with this man? Can you tell that I want... Can you tell that I want to just date you? I mean, there were only two options, as you made sure I was aware. Yes. Of course, it's just that, well, to call Genji difficult would be an understatement. What do you want from me? <laughs> Game, what do you want from me? Okay, I'm peeking the mic too much. Okay, yeah, I just turned it down a little bit, so I'm not peeking the mic too much, but so y'all can still hear me, but like It's like to call again would be an understatement like What? So are you now trying to dissuade me from dating the person I picked? Hanzo should talk and Genji is kind of Han- <laughs> yeah Is it because of lore? <laughs> lore I'm, I'm, I'm channeling my inner MatPat. LORE! Is it because of Laura? Because honestly, yeah, in the lore, all he does is shit talk his brother. But I wonder if that's like the sibling rivalry. Um, Yeesh, you're being judgmental. Yeah, you are being judgmental. Wait, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save. I'm just going to override this one. Yeah, so I'm just going to save whenever there's like two different options because that's what you are normally supposed to do in dating sims is it because of war or something is this because of war or something the what yeah maybe there should have been voice acting in this game i, I kind of want to hear paul be like it's like the what now <laughs> oh my god that is a uh... This is getting scary. I don't, I don't like this. The Overwatch lore. You know, Genji was the younger brother Hanzo killed and felt guilt over ever since. Why did it, why did it go spooky all of a sudden? I don't like the fact that it went spooky all of a sudden. Am I asking too many questions? Only Genji wasn't actually dead. He was alive, but a cyborg and Hanzo wins this. And he was still kind of a, upset about the whole thing, I think. I mean, yeah, I would also be conflicted if I've been mourning a dead family member for 10 years, by the way. I think, like, yeah, 10 years. 10 years plus 2 because uh, Overwatch 2 is 2 years after Overwatch 1 for some reason. Cupid looks troubled. Oh, this is getting sus! This is getting suspicious! I like this! 
<laughs> okay, that summary heavily favors Genji's view matters, I feel. Sir, sir, you just said you weren't Hanzo Shimada. What is going on here? What 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 is going on here? I know, right? I'm freaking out too. The Okay, so that was interesting. So I wonder if you push the characters on things that are lore specific, if you get more screens like that rather than like the happy dating sim, sort of like Doki Doki Literature Club. Like, like surface level, if you play it correctly, you get, you know, happy times. But if you ask for things that are lore specific, you get like the stuff under the iceberg type thing. Okay, so, oh, this is good. This is good. I like this. No, I'm merely saying that to reach Genji's heart will be a difficult task. Sure, whatever you say, Mr. <laughs> I like I like my I like my sassy character. If you wish to pursue Genji, then I'm obliged to help you. It is your love life, no matter how foolish. You still talking shit! Dude, you you're making it hard. Well then, how do you think I should approach Cupid? Why? I wish they put that in quotation. Why should I approach Cupid? Why should I? You have to introduce yourself, of course. You cannot start down the path of romance without first speaking to him. I mean, that's implied. Period. Like, sir, I know how to date. I have a boyfriend. Oh, Jesus, the face! And given that he strikes me as a selfish, immature person, I would recommend keeping your conversations focused on him. He has always struggled with the sense of self, so do your best to appeal his interests. That sounds like Hanzo Shimada coming out. Because that's what he says about Genji, like, all the time. He seems like, uh, he seems like a selfish brat. But Genji was like, yeah, but, like, Dad always compared me to you. I, I honestly wonder... Yeah, pun, pun's got the right idea. Also, pun, I might move your capture again. Oh, not the game capture. The stream over, like, cuz... Long sentences. Actually, I might move it so... Okay. Yeah, let me move the chat overlay again. <laughs> because when you type... If you type a really long sentence... Uh, for some reason... Yeah, the fa the face is giving is not giving good vibes. Okay, I'll just put you over here and I'll change the game window to be like Okay, there we go. There we go. I swear to god, I'm done moving. I'm done moving the screen, I swear. The anger and annoyance is the vibe. <laughs> You hope he'll get over his hostility for Genji soon, definitely, yeah. But that's not what's important right now. What's important is whether or not Genji will feel any hostility towards you. Why? We're a random person! With Cupid's words in mind, you build the courage to approach Genji. Okay, we're, we're, we're approaching Genji. Let me get my... Nice Valentine's Day hair ready with a nice blue in it, too. <clears throat> um, excuse me. <laughs> oh, God. The ninja turns to face you. The purple glow of the club's neon lights illuminates his metal mask. Oh! Oh, I, I'm just not noticing, like, the little question marks above their head. Hmm? Are you talking to me? Yes. Okay, hang on, hang on. Gotta get into cutesy anime girl mode. <clears throat> yeah, I just saw you and I just wanted to say... Your heart starts pounding in your ears and your mouth can't find the words to speak. Seriously? Oh, they... Oh, is this a cute sprite? It makes it look like a Chipley sprite. Oh, that's cute. 
well, say something and remember your choices will affect how he feels about you. Okay, so that's why there are so many saves. <laughs> come on, come on. I'm saving. Hang on, I gotta save right here. Close. I really like your outfit. I saw you when I came in and I figured, do you need healing? Do you need healing? Wait, 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 even better. Anime girl. Do you need healing? Oof. <laughs> he didn't like that. He did not like that. I could tell this man did not like that. I know my brother. Is, the, is he crying? Oh my god, did I make him cry? I, I made Genji cry. Where, where's my achievement? Making a Shimada cry. I know my reputation. It is her. Oh, oh no, wait, wait, wait. Uh. But also I could use healing. Where is this going? I warned you he'd be difficult to deal with. Boy, shut up! Anyways, I don't think I've seen you around here before. I'm Genji. What's your name? Oh, I'm Sapphire. Nice to meet you, Genji. No, yeah, I, I, will, I will go back at some point, uh, especially if I like really, really mess up and it's like a game over. That's why I have all the saves. Um, Genji. Sapphire, huh? That's pretty cool. It reminds me of Sapphire from the game Sapphire's Odyssey. Is there a game called Sapphire's Odyssey? Wait, hang on. I gotta look this up. I've never heard of that game. Is this a fake game? Hang on. I'm looking this up right now. Sapphire. Let me see. Sapphire's Odyssey. O D Y S S E Y. Sapphire's Odyssey. It's only giving me like Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Sapphire's Odyssey. And it's giving me like a hotel. Yeah. Also, uh, by the way, uh, I always hate it when people misspell my name because my name has two P's in it. Yeah, it's a fake game then. So I guess he'll like say that, I guess he'll put whatever name you give him and then put it in front of like Odyssey. And it'll be like a canon game in the Overwatch universe or something. Also, a pet peeve of mine, I hate it when people misspell my name. So my name is actually spelled with two P's, not one P. Um, so when so when people say my name, they're like Sapphire or Sapphire or Safari. I hate it when people call me Safari. Because it's like I get the PH sound makes an F in your head, but it's like if the PH sound makes an F, where does the where are you getting the I E R? Like, excuse me. Is that a real game? Yeah, I'm gonna ask if that's a real game, because we know it's not a real game. Yeah, it's amazing how many people will mess up the name of a gym. It, it is it is amazing. And I also think it's because, you know, I'm a this shade, so they assume that my name's more exotic than it is. Because my name is literally translatable in every single language. So if you can't say my name in English, say my name in your native language. Because I know what my name is in Korean and Mandarin, I know what my name is in um, French, I know what my name is in Spanish, it's like, it's like, it's like if you can't say my name uh, with the English phonetics, you can say it with your country phonetics, and I won't be offended as long as you're saying my name. Because in other countries, my name is spelled with one P, but even though it's still referencing the gemstone, I think with the exception of like Korean, it's a uh, Sapphiro, uh, Sapphiro, yeah, sort of like that. Um, okay. Is that a real game? No way, is that a real game? Genji tilts his head. His cybernetic hands grip the bottom of his max pensively. Was that something I said? Yeah, it was. I'm sorry, was? What do you mean was? Sir! Sir! What do you mean was? Oh, that's an idea. Hey, do you want to sit down? The seat, the next set is starting soon. Maybe we could watch together. Ooh, okay, okay. I'm romancing. I am romancing you out of your pants. 
I'm in my nice dress. I got my nice hair going on. I normally wear my contacts when I'm wearing glasses. Oh, that was the sound of a chair scraping. I did not like that. You take a seat next to Genji and watch a few sets. You can't tell if he ever cracked a smile, but he certainly doesn't laugh at any point. Weird energy to bring to a comedy club. You just said the people here aren't very good at their jokes. Like, my character literally said that. And you're surprised he's not laughing. But before you can spend too many minutes basking in the awkward silence, Cupid returns and bring you some more helpful advice. Well, what are you waiting for? Show him you can be exciting. Go perform a set. No! <laughs> Not for free! Me! Not for free, sir! Okay, hang on. I'm gonna save. Let me save this. Okay. Not for free! Are you kidding? My material is iconic. I'm not sharing it without pay. Is the payment of love not sufficient for your talents? No! I want money! I need cash money! Money! <laughs> Love cannot pay my rent. Y'all, remember this. Love cannot pay your rent. Well, humor me and pretend that it can't. Bruh. It's like, we don't even know if Genji is getting them residual checks from being an Overwatch. It's like, I don't know if it works the same way that the US military works where you still get your checks, uh, after you get out the military, but, um... Look, someone just finished their material. Get up there and impress your date. The person gets off the mic to some... Oh my god, I can't pronounce that. Paul train, pa pay train, Paul train claps. And when no one stands, take their place. You take initiative to get on the stage. Oh god. Hello everyone, I would be honored to share a joke with you fine people. He's squatting at Zenyatta's place. He doesn't pay rent. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. He's been living with Zenyatta and Zenyatta lives rent-free in the mountains. You look out over the audience and you see Genji looking back at you with what you assume is curiosity. While you couldn't make any joke, you have to wonder what would make him laugh. I know that... Okay, so he does, so in Heroes of the Storm, uh, Genji does make a lot of jokes about being a robot, a cyborg, and a ninja. Like, so one of the voice lines that he has, it's like, people keep calling him Mr. Roboto, and he's not a robot. Um, I, th I think he is self-conscious about his enhancements, because he does talk about it a lot. I'm thinking of Overwatch lore. He does like to make jokes about ninjas, though. Ninjas and cyborgs might be sensitive. Yeah. So I'm gonna tell the funniest joke I know. Oh god, this is gonna be bad, isn't it? This is gonna be bad. I can tell. You tap on the mic. Wait, wait, wait. I can't well, I can't actually. Oh, god damn it. I accidentally pressed something on my computer. It's okay, we're back. Um Okay, hang on. I can't actually tap on the mic because um uh i'll turn it off so it's like kit is this thing on okay um the feedback rings in your ears and you lean in close why did the building get arrested for vandalism The things I do for love. The crowd is silent. It was a skyscraper. I wouldn't even laugh at that on joke. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I'll do the ninja joke on the next save. Okay, it was a skyscraper. 
Oh. Oh, I wasn't expecting anybody to laugh. Oh, so, um, skyscraper, because, um, uh, there, uh, there's a type of graffiti called uh, scratch graffiti. So, uh, you're basically, like, scraping it in the sky. Guy, after the erupts into wailing laughter. You told what was truly the funniest joke of all time, and you're a living legend, and everyone will remember you as the genius who reinvented the art of comedy. Uh, oh my god, but Genji's not laughing, and I'm not laughing. <laughs> But among the crowd, one person hasn't been stricken with the agonizing amusement. It's Genji. He remains just as still as you left him when you came up on the stage. Yeah, yeah, Genji was not a fan. I don't care if he was not a fan. After signing autographs for the whole club, you return to your seat next to Genji. <laughs> Y'all had to make me a comedy legend. Like, I was not laughing. I'm like, bro. Do I want to be arrogant and be like, do you want my autograph too? And what do you think of my joke? I'm going to save. Uh, I only have three pages worth of save files. So I, oh my God. They need to make more save files. Okay. Um... Which one do you guys think? Uh, what do you think of my joke? And did you want my autograph too? Yeah, I'll just, what do you think of my joke? So what do you think of my joke? Did you like it? He did not like the joke. He did, like, sir, did you want me to make a ninja joke? Yeah, it was pretty funny, I suppose. He says this, you're watching someone as he says this, you're watching someone being rolled out of the club on a stretcher, quite literally dying from laughter. <laughs> but I think there are, there were other jokes that you could have told, maybe ones related to me that would have made me laugh harder. Okay, I get it's a dating sim and it's about you, but it's not always about you, Genji. Wait, I need to say it. It's like, you wanted me to make a joke about you? Close. You wanted me to make a joke about you. So you wanted me to make a joke about you in front of the whole club. Of course. Maybe a long time ago, I would have been too insecure in myself to take a joke. But now I'm happy with who I am. Even when people poke fun at me. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh my god, wait, I forgot that. Oh my god, yeah. Yes, Pun, like, there was, oh my god, he had so much growth with Zenyatta. That's why he can laugh at him. So, oh my god, I forgot to take that into account. God, my lore knowledge. My lore. But I guess you couldn't have known that. We just met, didn't we? Maybe on our second date, you can learn more about me. Oh, so I still got a second date. Hey, being yourself worked. Oh, wow, this was a date? I kind of want to be, I want to, should I be like that? Do I want to be like that? No, I'm, I'm not gonna be like that. Absolutely. Absolutely, that sounds wonderful, Genji. Genji sighs. A weight leaves his shoulders. I can't wait. I guess I'll see you again soon. He leaves, and you're left alone in the comedy club. Not for long, as Cupid soon reappears. Hmm, I sense the buds of romance already beginning to blossom. How do you think things went? Yes, I would love to hear your expert opinion. Yeah, so I'll make everything about him a bit next time. Jesus Christ! Okay, okay, okay! 
I sense there's room to improve. You focus too often on yourself and showed more interest in him and how he views the world. Uh, but good or bad, your date's in the past, and we still have a long run ahead of us if you truly wish for Genji's heart to be yours. Did I use up too many save files? Um, the game... Yeah, like, Alonzo is being so pissy. Um... Oh, we're on, a uh, Circuit Royale! We're in Circuit Royale! Holy shit! Okay, when Genji reaches out to you again, he suggests grabbing dinner for your second date. He even picks out a restaurant, Cafe Azure, in Monaco, the exclusive playground of the ultra, ultra rich. Yeah, I love being spoiled, so this is my type of place. Luckily, you live in the hopeful future. You can just hop on a transatlantic train and arrive in Monaco in a few short hours. Neat, huh? That is convenient. Do, do they have the same thing for the United States, or is it still, like, divided by an ocean? Hmm. You arrive at the restaurant, and it looks as classy as the name might imply. A robot brings you to your table, where Genji awaits you. Please tell me he's not wearing the same hoodie he wore to the comic. <laughs> Hanzo, are you sure? I mean, Cupid, are you sure you don't personally know Genji? I'm not exactly drunk. I am wearing a. I'm. I am wearing a dress game. How dare you? Look, look at this nice dress that is very zoomed in right now. Like I am wearing a nice dress. I am dressed up for this. Sadly. Sadly, I am dressed up for this. Hang on, let me scoot back in and make my camera focus on me again. Uh-oh. My camera. Let me get back in focus. Hey. There we go. I'm back in focus. Um, I'm gonna say if I own... Do the, yeah, put Hanzo in a sleeve. If I had a hoodie that cool, I'd wear it every chance I got. I mean, look at it. If I owned a hoodie that cool, I'd wear it every chance I got to. Even the even to a five star restaurant. Okay, he does have a point, but still, especially to a five star restaurant. Hmm. No wonder you need my help. Excuse you. You take your seat across from Genji, and he seems to light up at your presence. <laughs> I know! <laughs> it's like, this bitch has a lot of opinions for some reason. Okay, let's see at your presence. Oh, Sapphire, I didn't expect to see you here. You, you invited me here for a date. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Bruh. Anyway, how was the ride over? You are still blushing and steaming under there, by the way. I slept the whole way. I had lots of time for gaming. I witnessed the horrors of the depot. <laughs> I'm saving. Hang on. I need to save right here so I can... I want to put the... I witnessed the horrors of the deep ocean. Or lots of time for gaming. I don't... Which, which one do you think? Um... I'm impartial to the horrors of the deep ocean, but I also want to see lots of time for gaming. Yeah, gaming would be safe. Later, we'll witness the horrors of the ocean. Wait. Those transit land trains take you deep under the ocean? You know, way deep? There are places humanity was never meant to venture in the depths of the ocean harbors. Tell me what become. When we are these tormented wandering the ocean, when we are subjected to the same conditions. Or maybe we are already monsters and there's the one who fear us. And 
this is why you load your save files. I think this is the save that I had. <laughs> Okay, that's the hoodie. I had lots of time for gaming. Okay. I know, I know, I just wanted to see you. It's like, it's like, sir, this is act because that's what actually what I would say. I would be like, have you seen the horrors of the ocean? The ocean is messed up, man. I had lots of time for gaming. It was great. I had tons of time to grind XP on Vivi's Adventure Online. Okay, see, that I know is a character within the Overwatch who is a game that Diva likes to play, so that's great. Vivi's Adventure Online? That's game pre that game's pretty fun. Even though I think the Vivi's Adventure franchise uh, fell off a bit after Vivi 3D. Right? Don't get me started on Vivi, on Vivi Party Dance Night. Talk about selling out. Editor's note, we are begging you not to add these to the Overwatch fan wikis. They're not real. They're gonna go on the fan wikis whether you want them to or not. <laughs> Either way, I'm glad you can make it. I've really been looking forward to spending more time with you. You don't have much time to feel bashful before the, wait the waitron returns to your table to take your order. You look over your holo menu, which is like a regular menu, but a hologram since it's the future! <laughs> Since it's the future. You should think carefully about what you order. Maybe choose something he'd like as well. Come on, even your dinner is gonna affect this guy's opinion of you? These dating sims are hard work. Yeah, because like, because a lot of the dating sims, um, if you want certain endings, there's like a lot of things you have to go through just to get to it. Because all these are like, these are all predetermined, so you would have to go through like all your options. In that case, what will you order for dinner? I, me being me, my ass would order the most expensive ass dish. Oh, I have no more saves. Damn, I'm gonna have to override one of these eventually in case I gotta make a hard decision. Order off the kids menu, order Genji's favorite food, order the most expensive dish. Yeah, Genji, yeah, uh, Genji's favorite food is easy and it doesn't break his bank. Uh, order Genji's favorite food. I'll have the uh, Rakumaru ramen. I don't think they sell that in Monaco though. That's my favorite food, how'd you know? Because, okay, so Genji, I don't know if you're aware of this, you are in a video game, and um, I've heard your voice actor say voice lines, and you have specific voice lines when you go home to Hanamura, and right outside your house where there is, like, a ramen shop, like, you have said that that's your favorite ramen ever? Easy. It's in, an, it's in the official Overwatch cookbook. Oh yeah, that's right, there's a cookbook. I kind of want to buy the cookbook to see what it says. Wow, in that case, I'll take a Rikamaru's a Ricky Rikamaru's ramen too. They have pronounced it and I can't figure out how it's supposed to sound. What if the waitress says that they don't sell that here? Yeah, oh no, Ro oh I feel so bad. I'm sorry, robot. I didn't mean to. The waitress, we don't have that on the menu program, seems to be overwritten by the customer is always right subroutine. <laughs> and so it takes your order back to the kitchen without complaint. Oh wow, that's a lot of hearts. I was not expecting that. Um, That's really cool if you order my favorite food for dinner. If there were an official, oh, official Safra cookbook, I would have ordered yours too. Maybe I should make a cookbook. Uh, all my favorite foods are like really junky and oily. <laughs> You make note of his idea. You're always looking for more merchandising opportunities. <laughs> yeah, I am. The two of you spend some time chatting after a few short minutes, and the waitress brings out your meal. Two bowls of... Ricky, uh, Rick, Rikamaru Ramen. It's honestly impressive that such a nice restaurant can make a dish look like it comes from a cheap ramen shop. It looks just as good as the real thing from Hanamura. 
all it's missing is the Murloc Bowl and then it'll be perfect. Oh no, how could they forget the Murloc Bowl? That's half the fun of Rick and Morrow's Ramen. I've never been to this place. How do I know? Hmm, let me go check out the mater. Maybe they have some Murloc Bowls in the back. You fetch the way trying to explain that Rick and Morrow's Ramen just isn't the same with when it's not branded in the bowls. Unfortunately, the restaurant doesn't have any more like bowls on hand, but they're able to draw a crude recreation on two of the regular bowls. This really is for the ultra rich. When you return to the table, Genji looks completely deflated. You sit across from him and he barely acknowledges your presence. Even Cupid seems troubled by his sudden shift to what happened? Yeah, they are accommodating. That is five-star service. Also, what happened? I was gone for like two seconds. Perhaps you should check on him, Dapper. Yeah, no shit. Um, I don't want to try and lighten the mood. Uh, I'm going to delete some of these saves. I'll, I'll just delete these for this particular playthrough. So I'll delete these because some of them uh, I can come back to. Uh, no, let's, uh, so let's just delete these just in case. Okay, so that's all. Okay, cool. So we'll save that new one there. Uh, let's do the, hey, is everything okay? Is everything okay? You seem bummed out. Get these shrugs. Sorry, uh, another diner recognized me when they, while you were gone and they came over to talk to me. Oh, did they ask for your autograph or something? No, they actually recognized me from the Blackwash incident and they had less than kind words to share with me. Oh, 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 mm. Yeah, that is, oof. That is a tough one. Yeah, I'm so sorry, Genji. I'm so sorry, Genji. I can't believe someone would give you trouble about it here. It's all right. I'm not proud of who I was then, but I will admit it is discouraging. I tried my best to become a better person, but I fear my past will always haunt me. Some days it feels like there's nothing I can do to move on from who I was. Yeah, oh, Genji, now you want to turn on sweet boy hours? Uh, oh, come on. Come on, I was being empathetic. There is no winning with Genji. Genji, you have too many mood shifts. Okay, he said, I probably said it against him. It's a heart rendering sight. It seems he can use your reassurance. A small gesture might go a long way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You apparently can hear To put aside his bitterness towards Genji when he's in this state. What do you do to cheer Genji up? I mean, come on! Come on, I, I want to throw hands. Come on, let me throw hands. I know the right answer is to reassure him. Let me save. We're gonna save and I'm gonna throw hands first. You know what? I think I'll give this jerk a piece of my mind. We're gonna throw hands first, hang on. You stand over here, ready to demand that Genji point you to the one responsible for making him feel so dumb when he grabs your wrist. Please, I do not want to cause more trouble. Let me get, let them catch these hands, Genji. I know you're a Buddhist, but let them catch these hands. Are you sure? I'm sure, I appreciate it, but I'd rather just spend more time with you. There's no point in dwelling on it much longer. Plus, if you start a fight, then I'm gonna have to step in and then we'll both spend the rest of the night listening to people tell me how cool my swords are and stuff. So let's just not. Okay, so at least I know what that is. Dang, it's like, oh, not save load. Uh, it was the second one, right? Uh, 
So reassure him, or let's reassure him. Hey, I know you've been working hard to be a better person, and I know you've come a long way from who you were before. So don't let anyone else get to you. As long as you know you're getting better, who cares about what anyone else thinks? Oh, okay. I'm sorry, those animations kind of like scare me sometimes. Genji seems touched by your words. Sure, maybe you plagiarize them from back from myself. Oh, look. But he's not your high school English teacher, and it's enough to get him smiling again. I suppose that's true. Although, even if I don't care what they think, I still care what you think, Sapphire, so thank you. Ah! Yeah, I'll, I think it's the eyes, because um, the eyes are more emotive than the rest of the mask, I think. Of course, Genji, anytime. Let's eat, huh? Our food's getting cold. The two of you finally enjoy your night as it was supposed to go. You don't know how Genji eats with his mask on, but every time you look away, more food's disappearing from his plate, and you assume it's getting into his mouth one way or the other. I'm assuming he's, li because he has superhuman speed, he's like lifting his mask, eating as fast as he can, putting his mask down, and chewing without me seeing. By the time you're done eating, Genji seems happier than ever, and you're glad the evening is going in a more positive direction. He's trying to look cool, lol. <laughs> hey, I wanted to ask you about something. Shoot. How would you feel about going somewhere special for our next date? Oh my god, do I have to be cheesy? Come on, I really want to be an- I just want to be an arrogant prick the whole time. That's what I want. Anywhere that's special to you is special to me. Hmm. Sure, anywhere that's special to you is special to me. That one doesn't earn you any points of Genji, but it makes him blush. And that's- <laughs> No, it's not worth more than any gameplay progression. Give, give me my balloons. Uh, the gameplay progression. I was hoping we could go somewhere that's really special to me. How do you feel about a trip to Nepal? Oh, we oh we're going to Nepal. Okay. We're traveling an awful lot. When do I get to choose our date? None of these options seem okay. What's in Nepal? What's so special about Nepal? It's a very important place in my growth as a person. This may surprise you, but an isolated mountaintop helped me find peace. Y yeah, I know. I already know via lore. There's more to it, obviously, but I figured I could explain to you when we got there. Sure, I can't wait to hear all about your backstory. Even though I already know your backstory page by page. Okay, see you there, and I hope it'll be real special. I had a lot of fun tonight. Thanks again, Sapphire. Gandhi departs from the restaurant and you're left alone. Well, as alone as you can be. Wait. As alone as you can be when you're haunted by the vessel of Valentine's. Oh my god. I keep forgetting that ha I've started playing this game for Hanzo and now I'm like simping for Genji. Um, another day down. And with the third to come, most impressive Sapphire. What does your bitchy ass have to say? I need to hear. Thanks. How do you think Genji and I are doing? You're close to his heart, but you haven't reached it quite yet. Keep trying to put him first whenever possible. Okay, but what about me? But there's still another date in your future, so do what you can and prepare. I sense this one will be the most important of all. Third date. Let Let's just go. Okay, so, okay, so I'm used to this now. It does periodically freeze for some reason. Oh, this is actually a pretty cool rendering of uh, the Nepal village. <clears throat> we'll work on Hanzo later. My guess is you gotta be a bitch and be... A complete turn off to get to Hanzo. <laughs> I mean, because that's technically Hanzo's personality. 
You ascend to the snowy mountains in Nepal and the cold rudely seeps right through every layer of clothing you wore. Hard to believe that a few days ago you were telling jokes in a comedy club and now this is what it's expected of you to keep this relationship going. Exactly. I don't, it's like my, it's our third date. I don't want to be cold. As you're trudging along, Cupid appears again, thankful. Thankfully, you know his deal by now. Or you think you were just seeing things thanks to the hypothermia. <laughs> like, okay, like act that way to the main dates and maybe he'll ask what's up and he'll say, because I love you the most. Oh yeah! Sapphire, I need to stress how much how important this day would be. Clearly you're important to get you. You would not have brought you here otherwise. So be sure to do your very best this time. I think your guess is correct. I kind of want to be... So I guess maybe next round be extra bitchy so you can date Hanzo. I wonder if he lets you. I thought you didn't... Yeah, I thought you didn't like Genji. Hang on. Your bitch ass was talking shit for the longest time. I thought you didn't like him. You know, when we first met, you seemed like you really didn't like Genji. Well, while I do believe he's foolish and stubborn and immature in vain, that sounds more like Hanzo than Cupid talking. You have reminded me that there's a good side to him as well. And while that good side is buried very, very far beneath- Sir, can you just let a compliment be a compliment? Like, sir, sir. It is there nonetheless, so I must thank you, truly. Aw, Cupid, you're sounding all sappy. Don't tell me this is a teaser for the secret Cupid path of the- My character confirmed there's a secret- Yes, he is crying pun, but there is a secret Cupid path! There is a secret Cupid path! Okay. Don't be ridiculous. If there were a secret Cupid path, do you truly think I would advertise it so freely? The more you talk, the less I believe you! Besides, the path of that nature would be difficult to unlock. You would need to... Oh! Oh, so I have to... Yeah, it's a scary-ass face. Okay, so I really have to, um... Oh, so I have to be nice to both of them to unlock that path! I don't want to be nice to both of them! Yeah, they just be spilling the beans there. I want to date Hanzo. Hypothetically, of course. Of course. Hypothetically. Hypothetically! But enough about hypotheticals. You have you have a date to get to. Hurry up now. So if I just so if I get all the hearts from the beginning, like I guess I'll unlock it. With Cupid's vote of confidence, you continue your journey up the mountain. Eventually, you arrive in a quaint little village. Genji is there to greet you. Honestly, you don't understand why you can't just travel together. Yeah, exactly. Sapphire, you made it. What did you think of the hike? It was not worth it. It was not worth it. Yeah, I just gotta be a people pleaser the whole time, so... Well, so when we start over the game, we'll do Genji. We'll make sure we get all the hearts. I be fighting nobody this time. We'll get all the hearts. I won't be fighting nobody. And then we do uh, Angela, Mercy, and then we'll get all the hearts. And then we get to date the person we really want to date, Ponzo. <laughs> God, it was not worth it. Honestly, it was not worth it to walk up this mountain. It was worth it to be here with you. I wouldn't say it was easy, but it was worth it to be here with you, Genji. Blink, blink. I really like your brother better than you, Genji. I'm not going to lie. Hmm, I'm happy you think so. You are blushing and steaming under here. There are a few people who would be willing to scale a mountain to spend time with me, if you can believe that. It means a lot that you did. Anyway, I'm glad you're finally here. This place is very special to me. And I hope I can show you why. Come for a walk with me? Gladly you take Genji's arm and he leads you all around the village and you can't help but bask in every sight. 
It's truly beautiful. Certainly not the kind of place you would want to host a 5v5 King of the Hill style combat. Blizzard, Blizzard, Blizzard. You are not being subtle, Blizzard. Blizzard, you are not being subtle. not subtle blizzard like at all they yeah they need to hire dating sim writers i i do like the fact that it's cheeky though but it was but what's more beautiful than the village itself is the way genji glows while he's taking you through recounting memories of the time he spent here he tells you everything from the story of how he first arrived to the tales of his most trying meditations. Okay, so that's kind of sweet. After strolling a while, Genji takes you to the old accommodations that housed him through his time in Nepal. Though he has been absent for some time, his room is still clearly his. There's an old mattress and a hatori. And a framed photo of Genji with his brother taken years ago. Okay, Hanzo still had the tattoo back then. Okay. Genji goes to say something, but someone else speaks first. Genji, you have arrived. <gasps> Is that Zenyatta? Is that Zenyatta? Oh, he, they made him cute. Oh. I hope you had a safe. Oh, look at how cute Zenyatta is. It's Zenyatta. How sad. This is the only place you can get Zenyatta. <laughs> They know, they know we are starved for Zenyatta and Ramatra content. It's Zenyatta, how sad. <laughs> yeah, they are aware. It's like, so you are aware and you still refuse to make content. Make it make sense, Blizzard. Make it make sense. It's Zenyatta. How sad is it that the only place you can get Zenyatta content these days is an explicitly non-canon dating sim and that one short story? Well, maybe we'll, something will happen with that Ramatra guy real soon. Who knows? Blizzard, Blizzard, come, come on! <laughs> come on! Come on! Master, it's good to see you again. Indeed, I heard you were bringing a visitor, and I hope I could meet them. Oh, of course, Sapphire, this is my master, Zenyatta. You were ready for a trek through the snow-covered mountains, but this is basically like meeting, getting, like meeting Genji's parent. Is that weird for a third date? Eh, 50-50. Doesn't matter, it's happening. Now it's up to you to deal with it. I want to give him a fist. I want to give him a fist bump so badly. I just want to be like fist bump. No, I gotta. I gotta be nice if I want to date Hanzo. If I want to date Hanzo, oh, I gotta be nice. Fist bump. You reach your close out fist towards the Melma, and to your utmost applies, he hits his. Yeah! It's like, oh my god, that was. Was that the right answer? A pleasure, Sapphire. I'm glad to see you survived your journey here. You're going to ignore the threatening aura that sentence and keep talking. It's rare for Genji to have company here. I sense he must be quite fond of you. Oh, I certainly hope so. Master, you're embarrassing me. I'm sure your companionship will mean a great deal to him as he's always struggled to accept himself and perhaps acceptance of another will help him along his path. You never realize how much your company might mean to Genji. To think, just a few nights ago, you were planning to enjoy the comedy silence of literally anyone in New York City by... Okay, ironically, I am from New York. What's next? We say Genji calling Zenyatta master is... I, I hope to God that's an option. I hope to God that is an option. But I am from New York originally, so 
Uh, that would make sense for my character, at least. And now, uh, impossible Overwatcher. I believe. Master. I sense I have super. and enjoy the remainder of your time here. The two of you say goodbye to Masters and Yada, and when you're left alone, Genji's previous exuberance is on and replaced with contemplation. Something on your mind, Genji. Just think about what my master said. He was being truthful, you know. Spending time with you has done a lot to help my own sense of self. But I have to wonder, Sapphire, do you really think it's possible to know your true self? Okay, I'm not I'm not ready for philosophy today, Genji. Come on, I had class, I had work, I'm not in the mood for philosophy. Well to be honest, that's a far deeper question than you have expected from the silliest dating sim you signed up for, but you've come this far, right? What's the harm in one more question? And that really is one more. I believe this is your last chance to win Genji's Heart Sapphire. Use it wisely. Well, what do you think? Can one know their true self? I honestly don't really care. I'm gonna save in case I mess it up. Because personally, I'm not sure, but you can try. No, correction, you can have a sense of self. Like, okay, so philosophically, you can have a sense of self, but the more that you have a sense of self, the more that, yeah, you can try. I don't, I don't know how to explain it, because I have a sense of myself. I know who I am from every standpoint that everybody else sees me at, and then I have my own sense of self that I like. I, I don't know what to answer for Genji, because it's like, you can't just boil this down to three options. I'm not sure, but you can try. Honestly, I don't know, but maybe you can, maybe not. I think it's always worth... I think it's always worth trying to find out who you really are. Otherwise, what was the point of it all? Oh no, that was the bad option. That was the bad option. I think you might be right, you know. When I end up like this, when my brother, he trails off, oh no. Hello. You need something? Huh? You sound like you're having a I am. That's good. <laughs> Cupid watches him intently. His brow knits with pain. Okay, I feel like I'm getting lore right now. This is just pure lore, and I'm... I'm scared. This is all lore. I felt so much guilt. I would look at myself every day despite and despise the person who looked back at me. But as much as it hurt, I had to look or else I could not have grown from who I was. Perhaps I will never know my true self, but you're right. I must always try to see who I really am. Thank you, Sapphire. I'm glad to know you feel the same. Sapphire, I have really enjoyed spending time with you lately. It's been a long time since I allowed myself to get close to anybody, but I must admit, and it looked Angie. I feel some guilt that you have not seen the real me. You're a bit confused. You're pretty sure you just enjoyed three dates with the real him before you can actually clarifies. Well, I've been spending so much time together. You've only seen me with my mask on. <laughs> Although my mask is... Oh, oh, they're talking about taking his mask off. Here's the thing. I'm going to go back again and then um, I am going to... Yeah, I'm gonna go back again, and I'm gonna, like, pick all the correct options to see what that gets me. It's really cool, though. I know, right? But still. Genji takes your hand into his, and his green visor stares back at you, and you wonder what his eyes might look like beneath it. They better not do some stupid-ass shit. <laughs> I'm gonna 
save that so I can accept his friendship in a second. Close. Accept Genji's friendship. Of course, anything for my best friend. Oh, okay. So let's go of your hand. Okay, pulls the mask from my face. Okay, you look at him. The real him, you can only smile. Okay, so if I choose the friend path, it's still fine. And now you think you have a friend for life. You have a, I thought what, love takes many forms, but it's always true. May he cherish his friendship for... Okay. I love your heels. Oh! Return to the main menu to claim. Okay, hang on. So let me load the game. Is it this one? Yeah. Uh, what if I accept his love? I get... Okay, so either or was correct. With great care, reach your mask, though it hasn't eventually builds the strength to remove it, showing you his two face underneath. Genji, you're beautiful. The most cheesy stuff! I swear to god! If you believe so, then it must be true. It took me so long to come to terms with who I am now, knowing you accept me makes me feel confident, and it's worth all that time, knowing my true self loves you, true sapphire. You have embarked on the journey of love and found your love takes many forms. Okay, cherish this love. I found love in Midtown card. Okay. So, okay, so what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna speed run this. But I'm gonna put in all the correct answers. At this time, I'm gonna put in all the correct answers, okay. Yeah, it's so cheesy. I think it's because it's like, it's a good chance. Yeah, I'm ready to set the scene already. It's Genji. What's, let me do Love Struck. Oh, okay, so you get hearts. Love Struck. You didn't know that you had a thing for sight. Okay, see, Blizzard, I don't need you calling me out like this. I really don't. Ninja, sir, cyborg, sure, but cyborg ninjas, that's a first. Did Blizzard imply that I'm discovering my own kinks? Blizzard, Blizzard, come on. <laughs> your heart starts racing and you're overwhelmed with happy neurochemicals. Which are in short supply these days. Okay, wait, I'm gonna do the same lore thingy. Uh, I think so. Kinda hard to tell. Often confusing, but if you're, okay, what? I hear okay. Wait, there was another option, wasn't there? There was not any more. That's weirdly ominous. I will not ask again. Yeah, I'll win the heart of Genji. Genji. Yeah, him being a bitch. Because of lore. The what? Okay, all the Overwatch lore. To get like that, to get those like weird moments. Okay, creepy ass face. Uh, I really like your outfit. I really like your outfit. Oh, thanks. Not many people compliment my clothes. Because he looks her. Hanzo! What is wrong with you? No, I really like them. Few people have RGB built into their outfits, so it's. Oh, there is? Is there RGB lighting built into it? Yeah, they do look pretty sick, huh? Anyways, I don't think I've seen you around here before. I'm Genji. What's your name? <laughs> Bitchiest of the bitch king. Yes. Nice to meet you. Uh, Sapphire Odyssey. I love that game. 
My parents were actually just bit, they named me after it and I've been playing them. That's not, that's not why I have my name. That's amazing. It was just named after the, the tale of Genji, which is all right, but certainly no Sapphire Odyssey. I still think it's pretty cool, thanks. Sorry, I'm speed running this because like, um, I wanna get to Mercy's because I really wanna date Hanzo. That's all I want. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, more helpful advice, perform a set. I have a few jokes, but they're not ready. I have a few jokes, but they're not ready yet. Cupid scoffs. You have been a regular at this venue and the comedy club is known as Overwatch. Wait, really? And you don't have any jokes ready to use? Hey, Overwatch is not a comedy club. That's comp <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, seriously, if you looked a bitch in the dictionary, it'd be a picture of Hanzo. <laughs> that is oh my god. I, I can't I can't take the jokes from both sides one joke at a time. It doesn't matter. Look, someone just finished their material. Get up in there and press your date. Uh, share a joke with people. Let's make a joke about ninjas this time. This man is saltier than a bag of actual salt. You only mean close. Okay. What kind of shoes does a ninja wear? The crowd holds its breath. Sneaker. Why do I have such shit jokes? It's like, it's kind of funny, but it's like, I'm not, it's not that funny. They're puns. They're all pun. Did you make this game? Be truthful. Did you make this game pun? Because all of these are, all of these jokes are puns. I got my eye on you. I don't know if you did this. Okay, I exhaled out my nose. <laughs> no, I wish. Oh, the silence feels like you've been teleported into a soundproofed void. Not a soul in the crowd has any reaction to swear. You almost wish they boo you just so you know that they're still there. Okay, among them you see Genji. Curiously, he glances down at his feet, upon which there are a pair of high-tech, fashionable sneakers, and a quiet chuckle escapes him. Oh, that's true. Ignoring the appalled stares of the rest of the audience, you make your way back to your seat next to Genji. He seems warmer and leaning towards you. So either I can be the best comedian in the world or make one joke for someone who did not know I exist until three seconds ago. I like your joke for the record. Not all ninjas wear sneakers, but I do. So I still laughed. Making you laugh was the goal. Making you laugh was the goal. I'm glad to hear you thought it was funny. I was mostly looking to make you laugh. For once, the ever-confident cyborg seems a bit shy. He rubs his arm nervously. It's been really nice hanging out with you. Do you think you want to go on another date sometime? Oh, this was a date? Okay, absolutely. Absolutely, that sounds wonderful, Genji. Genji sighs and a weight leaves his shoulders. I can't wait. I guess I'll see you soon. Again soon. He leaves you and you're left alone in the comedy club, not for long though, as Cupid soon reappears. Hmm, I sense the buds of romance are already beginning to blossom. How do you think things went? I don't see how it could have gotten any better. You made him feel special and he responded positively to that. Okay, yay, so now you're not salt of the earth. But good or bad, your date's in the past and we still have a long run ahead of us if you truly wish for Genji's heart to be yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Monaco, ultra rich, Monaco, Genji. 
Please tell me he's not wearing the same hoodie. I'm not exactly dressed up either. It's okay, I'm not really dressed up either, so I guess we match? I suppose that is a favorable sign. Oh, Sapphire, I didn't expect to see you here. You invited me here for a day, yada yada. Had a lots of time for gaming. And there's no, don't add to the fan wikis for any more. Hologram menu. You should think carefully about your order. Candy's favorite food. That makes me, that makes him love me. Uh, we're gonna... Okay, is everything okay? Uh... I'm so sorry, Genji. Use reassurance. Don't throw hands this time. I can't be... I would have made better puns. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you would have. Um, should I hold his hand this time? Wait, let me save. I'm gonna override this one. What happens if I hold his hand? You don't have to inside you and take Kenji's hand in yours. He seems surprised when you. Oh, okay. Holding his hand was even better. Okay, it's holding his hand. It's the least I could do. It was the easiest and least expensive thing I've done. Let's see, he's getting cold. Going somewhere special. Anywhere that's special to you is special to me. What's in Nepal? Okay, another day down with a third to come. Most impressive, Sapphire. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Thanks. How do you think NPR are doing? He seems incredibly happy with Not to tempt me, but I suspect it would be difficult for you to lose his affection now. But there's still another day. Okay, let's go. Third day. Alright, cold. Okay. I thought you didn't like Genji, by the way. In vain. There's a good side to him. Yeah, so we know the hypotheticals. We know what we have to do. It's worth it to be here with you. That gets me hearts. I'm for a walk. Yeah, 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 yada. There and his brother. The only Zenyatta screen time that we get. Why did ninjas cook? Ninja st Oh, that is a lot better, actually. That one actually is funny. The only Zenyatta screen time we ever get. It's wonderful to meet you. That's like, you haven't heard anything, but you survived my journey here. Yeah, companionship, yada yada. His allotted screen time is gone because, you know, we can never get Zenyatta lore. Uh, let's see. Yes, they can. Let me see what that does. One of my brother. Um, I feel like without that, I would never figure out who I truly am. I must admit. Uh, I'll accept Genji's love. Okay, he, he reflects me, he shows me his face. Okay, yeah, this is the same thing. A journey of love and life takes many forms. Sweet. Okay, love is stronger than any ultimate. Okay, so that's a new card. I got... Okay, so there might be three pages of rewards. So now let's go for Mercy. Yes, I know, I know. I'm gonna... First tell me what non canon means. We're glad you asked. Basically, there are parts of the Overwatch story that are real and other parts that are hypothetical. Is one of those hypothetical non canon stories like if 
how they both love cheeseburgers before people. Wait, so are you saying that none of the voice lines are canon? Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Hang on. We need to talk about this. So basically they're saying the stating sim is one of those hypothetical non-cancer. Like if Wrecking Ball and Tracer talked about how they both love cheeseburgers before a PvP match. But that's still like built into the game. So if they both say they like cheeseburgers in game, that then that has to be canon. That makes no sense. Don't don't do that, Blizzard. They've just never met officially and never had this conversation. Okay. Kicks down the fourth wall and stomps all over it with its money boot. Does that add your question? Almost. So, so you're saying I shouldn't just enjoy this and not rush off <laughs> with anything I read here? We couldn't have said it better ourselves. Am I also portraying a non canon version of me? That's not really up to you. This is getting to. For, for us, we wrote this. Fine, fine. What's up? <laughs> oh my god, we're so meta. We're so meta. All right, now time to romance Mercy. Okay, we're gonna romance, we're gonna romance the angel now. Why are there only two options? Why are you giving me only two options? We're romancing Mercy. How come she looks better as an anime character? Imagine a guy named Cole playing, oh my God. I'm out of water. Hang on. Hey, can you come back and take my Starbucks cup and get me some ice and some juice, please? Pretty, pretty, please. making him do stuff for me. One person I want to date. You want the strawberry lemonade juice? Yeah, the strawberry lemonade juice with ice, please. Yeah. Oh, nope, nope. Not getting tangled. I am not getting tangled. I refuse to be tangled. Also, um, so I looked up uh, tutorials on how to wear my hair. For, well, here's the thing half of my, my whole head is like shaved, like, including under here. It is shaved. These are like, you know, nice red extensions that I like to have uh, from time to time. And this is like, what, 36 inches of hair. But the thing is, it's like, hey, how do I wear my long hair with shoe? All the advice is to pin your hair back. And it's like, and I'm assuming like, you know, most of the streamer girls are like wearing like wigs or something for the people who have like the longer hair that looks like really cool. But it's like, um, so what I have to do is I have to pull my hair forward and then put my headphones on like this and then try and have it like and because if I wasn't wearing my glasses it would look a lot better but I put my headphones right here I turn to the side I comb out this hair because if it sits on top of the headphones it looks weird so then I have to like do this and like pull it all forward and then like just smooth it down so that it looks like this and it just sits like you know in the glasses rather than um for the, rather than like looking weird okay 
enough of me like being like enough of me complaining about streamer advice let's keep going so we got mercy the genius doctor genius scientist genius inventor no matter how many times you blink she's still there and you're still completely pain struck so with the genji it's fear with angela it's pain um so let's so let's trash these because we've gotten what we needed out of Genji. Yeah, so we all win. Yeah, Genji. The next round is just to be a complete bitch to both of them. Okay, so let's close this. We're let's say we're love struck, so we can get to Hansa faster. Love struck. You didn't know you had a thing for a perfectly brilliant and kind beloved philanthropist before. Really? Well, obviously you do. But your dating track record implies otherwise. <laughs> okay. Okay, Hanzo. Uh, you're not hallucinating. You're Hanzo Shimada. I get that a lot. Yada yada. The skin. Uh. Yeah, I think so. It's hard to tell. What? I'm gonna give you advice. Oh, okay. Do you wish to not harm? Wasn't there another option? There was. Not anymore. That's really ominous. I will not ask again. Yeah, I'll win the heart of Angela. Characters and eyebrows. Just arm yourself with the power of knowledge. How much do you really know about Mercy? Wait. Is he actually setting up a trivia quiz? Okay, so this is different. I'm waiting. Can I look up one? <laughs> Not the fan wiki! Not the fan wiki! I, I already know. Uh, I'm gonna save like this one because on the fan wiki first. Can I look up one thing on the Overwatch wiki first? You cannot, now. What's Mercy? Her real name is Angela Sager, not Miss Sapper. Thank you. Wait, wait, let me come off camera. Let me see if she's... You're not on camera. I'm, I'm leaning my body out. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, that's delicious. Okay, yeah, I like strawberry lemonade type things. Well, correction, my favorite, um, my, my favorite, uh, soda is strawberry Fanta, so, yeah. Her real name's Angel Zinger. Her real name is Miss Sapphire. Close Angel Zinger. Incorrect. What? That's Dr. Angela Zinger. Oh. <laughs> okay, Cupid Hanzo Shimada. <laughs> I love that I'm sassy. Okay, Cupid Hanzo Shimada. Stop that. <laughs> okay, so I'm on something. What's her favorite food? The tears of careless DPS here. I need to save these so I can go back. Well, our favorite food is chocolate, technically. Chocolate. Close, but not quite. She likes Swiss chocolate. Do you want to throw hands, Hanzo? I don't care that you're buff. I will throw hands. It's like, I'll punch you in your titties. There wasn't an option for Swiss chocolate. For shame. Now my next question. Field of research. This is right, but, well, technically her, her field of study is biology, because she is a doctor. She studied microbiology. Biology. Incorrect, yet again. She's a pioneer in applied nanobiology. Same difference! Oh my god! I'm going to 
going back. Hang on, hang on. I'm loading one of these saves. I want to answer the DPS questions. Where, where is it? Is it? Is this the one that I saved? Is this it? Oh, okay. Wait, let me load the first one then. Wait, what? The Tears of Carol CPS Heroes. That's quite dark. I like that. She will not do better. Uh, wait, wait, wait. So, I, I could have sworn. Does it automatically save over like the last thing I did? Yes, I want to win the Heart of Mercy. Uh, I'm sorry. Trivia questions. From a champion loves sim dating tropes. If you prefer, we can test your knowledge of the medical sciences. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just now seeing that pun said hard punch him in the tit and I will. I will hard punch him in the titties. I want him to do the thing that like, not what Peter did, like what Lois did when she fell on her boob and she was like, ah. <laughs> I think I have more knowledge of medical sciences than Mercy Lords technically. Maybe you should, I might surprise you. Or perhaps we should stop when out, like why Null Sector is attacking the world in upcoming. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I heard lore. I hear lore. The lore bell is ringing. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, wait. No, the lore bell is ringing. The tea is hot. The tea is hot and spicy. The Overwatch development team hasn't even released those details yet. That's not fair. Hmm, true. Do you know what might be fair then? Trivia. Trivia about Mercy would be fair, even if it is, some might say, a trope. Can I look up a thing on the fan wiki first? You cannot. Now. What's Mercy's real name? Dr. Angela Zeiger? <laughs> Incorrect. Dr. Angela Zeiger. Okay, Cupid Hanzo Shimada. Damn, you went dark, Hanzo. Stop that. What's her favorite food? The Tears of DPS Heroes. That's my favorite food, at least. The Tears of Kills DPS Heroes. That's quite dark. I like that. Hanzo! Hanzo! Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I like that. She will not do better. What's our field of research? And heroes never die is in healing. Duh. Healing. Duh. Incorrect. Yeah. I didn't look on your attitude of healing. Okay. Same difference. As much as I hate to say it, you're right. No, this is ridiculous. I'm just going to go over and talk to her. You're barely holding a decent conversation with me. Well, because... <laughs> can we flirt with him? I think we can, just a little bit. You're barely holding a decent conversation with me. Well, you're not our very good conversational partner, Hanzo. Uh, my man will elevate you above your incompetence. Wait, I thought there was no magic in the Overwatch setting. Oh yeah, that's right. They technically said there's no magic in the Overwatch setting, but that doesn't explain Hanzo and Genji's dragons or Kiriko's fox. Or Zenyatta's orbs. No more questions. <laughs> okay then, Prissy McPriss bitch. It's a high what would impress her the most? I thought you said no more questions. After this one, tell me what's the most impressive thing about you. And he's a figment of our imagination. I'll tell her how many hours I have clocked on Overwatch. Where do I save? Where's my save files? Uh, trash. 
Trash. Trash. Trash. Close, we're saving. How many hours I have clocked on Overwatch 2? How many hours I have clocked on Overwatch 2? Impressive. Say that. Say it loud and proud with this. He hands you a mic. The mic that they use for open mic night at the Laugh Attic. Click. Oh wait, am I actually gonna say how many hours I have on- Wait, does this read my game file and shows me how many hours I have on Overwatch 2? Oh no! And she's looking at you. Gulp. Guess how many hours I've clocked on Overwatch 2. The cloud clears their throats. Chairs squeak. I don't think people got the joke. Whispers, it wasn't a joke! It wasn't a joke! <laughs> I know, but this is a comic club. Where hopeful fools tell jokes and she's waiting. Okay, here goes nothing. Why does a surgeon not like operating on elbows, I guess? <laughs> yeah. He is putting me on the spot for some reason. For, for absolutely no reason. Other than shooting bright, maybe. Uh, you pause for the dramatic effect. She swore to do no arms. Oh, because do no harm. Okay, that one's actually pretty good. Oh, she's blushing. The audience silently goes beyond mere description. It's like living being, vast, timeless, hateful. It bears down you with deadly intent. Aww. Then Mercy laughs, a full-on chain-snorting laugh. The exhilaration hits you like a damage-amplifying beam. A well-timed resurrect. She should probably get her sadnesses checked, though. <laughs> You sit down at a nearby table, glowing. Out of the corner of your eye, Mercy stands and heads over to you. Uh, the heart sound. Yeah, it worked! Yay! Uh, ba-dump. 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 Hello. Uh, I can't do, like, a Swiss German accent. Hello. Don't talk to me or Alex <laughs> Don't talk to me or I'll explode! Oh, I- Does Hanzo- Does Hanzo show up if I say that? Hang on. Save. I'm gonna save right here. Does Hanzo show up? Don't talk to me or I'll explode. Please don't talk to me or I'll explode. Mercy cocks her head confused. You know, from nervousness? Not actually explode. It was a joke. Um, I guess that one didn't land. Hmm, you can't die from a panic attack, although it can lead to cardio- Wait, can that lead to cardiovascular disease? I've had many a panic attacks and- um, uh, I eat a lot of unhealthy food. I don't want cardiovascular disease. Good to know. The heart's a complex organ. Tell me about it. But I would. This is turning into a medical consultation. You're smart and funny. OP. Um, wait, let me load and not say I'm about to explode. Hey, Dr. Ziegler. I just wanted to say, that was a very good joke. I'm glad it tickled your funny bone. That phrase is so strange. A funny bone is not really a bone. It's a nerve called the... Oh, uh, I can't even... I can't pronounce it. Un unnar nerve? And it's responsible for the sensations in your fourth and fifth fingers and your palm and... Oh, is that what that is? I thought it was like a bone that... Uh, it felt like your bone right here, and then, you know, when you accidentally hit it, and you got that weird tingly sensation. But of course, I understood your joke, which is also very good. Thanks, and the Uncle and Nerve trivia was also really good. It wasn't humorous, though. Hey, on, 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 nerve. That's how you say it. Thank you. Thank you for my pronunciation pun. It wasn't humorous, though. Bone jokes. Has anyone ever told you you're hilarious? You're the first. Sadly, a doctor doesn't have many opportunities to be funny. Is she doing the little anime girl pout? Y'all see this, right? The little anime girl pout? No. Isn't laughter the best medicine? 
You know, the best medicine lies in biotechnology. Yeah, let's rewrite that to saying biotech is the best medicine. So let's fund it. Doesn't quite have the same ring trip, but I prefer that version. It's been lovely chatting with you, truly. Would you be interested in joining me for dinner soon? I'd love to join you. I'd love to join you. Percy smiles. You could die happy right now and she would resurrect you back. <laughs> she probably would. Fantastic. I'll meet you at cat. Oh, so we go to the same places, I assume. She walks. No, floats away. You can't believe it. You're going to have a dinner with Mercy tomorrow at... Wait, wait a minute. Circuit Royale? That's not in Midtown. If you want to make it in time for dinner tomorrow, you better queue up now. How do you think things went? You did quite well. You anticipated her feelings and interests, and you're off to a fine start. First, the first date is finished, but the journey ahead of- yeah, 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 yeah. Let's endure the trials together. So we're- so we still go to Circuit Royale. So I guess that's just a baseline. Luckily, the hopeful future of Overwatch has a very reasonably priced transatlantic train. You arrive in Monaco in a few short hours. Supercars zip by in the distance, the hat of high-end dining webs from nearby tables. The menu in front of you and you're cursing to yourself for skipping French class all this year. I didn't skip French class. Well, correction, I do I do still understand French. Um, my speaking ability is just not there, but I can read at least. It is exactly three minutes and two seconds past the time of your dinner, and Mercy is still nowhere to be found. Maybe she changed her mind. Maybe there's an international crisis somewhere, and she had to go. Maybe, maybe she's just running fashionably late. Really, Hanzo? Three minutes and 57 seconds. Four minutes and 19 seconds. She must hate you. Are you going to eat the breadsticks or just let them sit there? Hanzo likes breadsticks. Write that down. Write that down. Hanzo likes breadsticks. Oh, I am so sorry. She's flustered, having rushed over here. I was working on a new dissertation and I wasn't keeping track of the time. I got here as fast as I could. Do you forgive me? Only if I get a special thanks in your dissertation. Wait, I don't know if that's gonna be a bad thing, so let me just overwrite the same right here. Perhaps. How much do you know about photon counting CT detectors? Um, I know about CT detect. I don't know. The CT detectors are magnet based, right? No, that's an MRI. CT scans are radiation based, aren't they? So, did they make it safe? <laughs> thank you, thank you, Pun, for writing down that Hans Electron 6. I mean, I do know a little bit, not a lot. And how it relates to a nanobiology? You're treading upon dangerous ground. How about we talk through it during dinner? I hope you're good at making up believable science facts. Have you already had this place? Does have fabulous beignets. Oh, beignet de fleurs and discorgates. Fried zucchini flowers. You take a deep breath and not. I like how Hanzo's in the background being like. <laughs> oh yeah, we're oh we're definitely putting in the breadsticks in the fic that we're writing. We're definitely putting in breadsticks. Um looks back at the menu. Um So was that like the wrong answer? Okay, see, so I'm gonna save this in a new file. I'm gonna go back. Oh no! Oh, I overrided the save slot, damn it. I can't go back now. I can't go back. Uh, okay. Uh. Because I'm. It's okay. And this is the Mercy and the Overwatch cookbook. <clears throat> oh! So I don't have the Overwatch cookbook, so I actually kind of want to buy it, but it wasn't at the Barnes and Nobles that's near me, so I have to go looking for it. Uh, do you like. Bircher Musa as well, because I also love it. It's the best breakfast. Yes, it is. Although we are having dinner. 
I don't let society's expectations dictate my preferences. Facts. Me either. Excuse me. The bowl of mousse. Ooh, that looks delicious. Cluster of bright, happy berries and a trail of green, brown. Ooh. Silence falls as you two eat. The awkward bit during dinner dates where you can't decide if you should converse or eat, or talk while eating and whispering your date with mostly with freshly chewed food. Cupid groans. You are truly su are you truly such an amateur? Start a conversation. What do I talk about? Something about her. All of these are horrible questions. What have you been up to since Overwatch fell? Well, now I have two save files. Okay, yeah. Okay, so now those are different. Um. Yeah, let's do hobbies first, and then maybe that's kind of hobbies you can I like volunteering at clinics around the world and collecting. Cri Mercy is a crystal girl. Mercy is a crystal girly. Write that down, people. Write that down. Write that down, people. Mercy is a crystal girly. Non-canonical, of course. Write that down. <laughs> Thank you, bun. Like non-canonical healing crystals? My favorite is the ro- She is a crystal girly. Do not be fooled. She is into crystals, zodiac signs. Write this down. It represents love, healing, and compassion. And uh, it represents love, healing, and compassion, right? Right. Oh, Hanzo was talking to me. I didn't realize that. I thought that was Mercy. You high five Cupid, and Mercy looks at you concerned. You forgot that only you can see him. She's a crystal gem. She got Steven's mom. <laughs> My godly knowledge and love does not cover. How to recover from such tomfoolery. So helpful. Uh, just stretching the old, uh, Lassium Dorsey's. Anyways. Your dissertation sounds interesting. Okay, so I guess we can talk about the dissertation now? So, I, I think we should, we could talk about the dissertation or... Cause I think she, cause I think she hated being a hero. Cause canonically she hated being a hero. She only really wanted to like help people and she didn't. Yes. Am I loud? No. <laughs> I'm ignoring you. <laughs> I'll be in bed in a second. It's just a couple more um minutes anyway. Okay, hang on. Let me fix my hair. Okay. Sorry, I had to fix my hair. Um, so let's do the dissertation. Tell me more. Do you understand the nuances of medical imaging and machine learning? I actually do. So <laughs> actually do so um basically when you're a film student you have to be well-rounded in basically all subjects so i actually know a little about both medical history medical imaging and i also know about ai and machine learning as it relates to art and it relates to film so this should be interesting i don't want to be honest but i guess i have to i'm gonna save right here okay to be honest not really Oh, I would change the subject so you could easily understand. Okay, wait, so let me load. Let me load this one. Of course, I read scientific journals in my, in my, for fun. You do? You do? <laughs> Damn, Hanzo has no faith in me. I've been working on optimizing the resolution for imaging deep tissues in 
sub sub cellular levels in real time. Oh, that's actually really good because so a big problem with medical imaging is that um so as you guys know there's MRI and then there's CT and then there is radiation imaging. The only time you can see your deep tissues um, is if you do radiation imaging because they're basically blasting you with radiation. That's why you have to wear all this heavy stuff, but then you also risk like, you know, giving yourself radiation poisoning on top of, you know, maybe activating cancer and they're not really accurate. Okay, reach a, the reach a better contrast, improve the electron microscopy, better samples and better convex optimization for algorithms. Oh my god, pun. It's like, I love how Hanzo is judging you like you're like you're really an expert on loving on love yourself. Yeah, I get I yeah. Okay, so that's actually really good. I'm at visual information. Yeah, because there's a lot of visual information that is lost with a lot of current imaging. So I can't believe that's still a problem in the future, but it doesn't surprise me since a lot of medical stuff is underfunded amount of computing power that we need to count is yeah because the computing power well technically the computer power of regular imaging isn't that strong so she is on the right path no i understand everything that you're saying mercy i'm understanding everything that you're saying I would change to something you can easily understand. But I understood that. But I understood that. Why can't you ask me? Or, or do y'all not, or were y'all not smart enough to understand that? I guess they were, I guess they were, um, they weren't banking on like people understanding some of the complexities of medical imaging. Because thankfully I do. Um, and, uh, I get, damn it. Y'all should have added more like medical questions that like, some people can answer because some of, some of us are like you know some of us are educated blizzard not all of us are like overweight dudes in a basement who pretend to know what they're talking about uh what have you been up to since overwatch fell apart nothing 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 of note do you miss it the missions the adventure i'd rather not talk about it if you don't mind well done to more positive. Okay. What is being feeling? What is being, you know, nobody really, when it's not as great as people think. Yeah, because I know she hates it, so why do we still have to ask her this? I don't want to. Uh, people think. The world saw me as mercy, guardian angel, noble, and perfect. But I'm also just Angela Zegger, and I'm not perfect. When the world saw that and saw me, they were disappointed. I don't mind being mercy, but if the world needs her, then I will be there. But I wish. I wish they would also welcome Angela. Well, no offense, Canon Angela's kind of a bitch, so. You like being the center of attention, huh? No! I need you, Angela. I need you, Angela. She chokes on her sip of water, and then the other princes look over, oozing in disdain at her gauche behavior. <laughs> he just really snied a napkin towards her. You okay? Yes, I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. But she looks down, face still pink. Thank you for saying that. It's nice to hear. I was wondering, I'm volunteering at a clinic in Cairo tomorrow. Would you like to see Angela trying to save the world? Oh yeah, that's right. Because um, in her story, uh, she was... She was doing medical work in Cairo because there's still an omnic crisis, crisis ongoing there. I literally can't miss it unless I stop there. She beams at you and soars away, leaving a lingering scent of perfection. Well, perfect to you. Well, one way or another, that date is complete. Thanks so much. How did her night go? She seemed happy with you. Only through chaos until you lose her heart now. There's still another day in your future, so do it all you can to prepare. This is the most important of all. Okay, yeah, so that's the same. Okay, when can I date you, Hanzo? Oh, okay, it takes it takes a while to load. I don't know why. Oh, okay, so this is new. 
Because Temple of Anubis didn't have this. There was no as soon as the airship touched down in Cairo, it went straight to the clinic. It's a modest clinic, bright and clean. Angela hands you a pair of scrubs and she puts on a lab coat as she tends to patients. You help as much as you can. Hallways, mopped. Paperwork, filled and filed and sorted. Supplies, stocked. You sit down in the break room, exhausted. Angela enters and you straighten up immediately. You must be tired. I'll make you some coffee. She hands you a cup of something that looks like coffee, but it smells like coffee, but it's definitely not called. I don't drink coffee. I drink tea. I'm a tea and I'm a soda drinker. Her genius does not extend to the recitorial art, if such a thing exists. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just save. Smells like death. Let me make another copy. A real crush. And that's not a bitter shot. That, this is pretty good. It's good. She rolls her eyes. Fine, it's better than mine. Somehow, while getting all my degrees, I forgot to take a coffee making class. Dang. Genji said that he's the only one that can drink his. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. You're bad at coffee. What's the thing I need? Another cup. We have a busy shift ahead of us, but our security help keep it up. Um, so let me load the thing that I just saved. I'm gonna drink it enthusiastically and see what happens. You drink it, it's endearingly revolting but strong. Do you like it? Just what the doctor ordered. I know it's terrible, but there's plenty more, so help yourself. Your stomach gurgles in protest, but hey, it'll keep you awake. Everyone's. Okay, so. Okay, so does in making a fresh pot of coffee. So was making a fresh pot of coffee the uh, the rest ah was making a fresh pot of coffee pot of coffee the right answer? But don't look up sweetly. Thanks, it's really good. You could have said you didn't like it. But I'll try a bit later. Daily revolting. Okay, so I think I'll just stick with my option of just downing the whole cup. Okay, so I'll just stick with the option of drinking the whole because she's confused at the fact that I drank it. <laughs> and pick out coffee grinds from your teeth. You're quite the brave one. You recognize that you turn it's it's Anna! No one has experienced Angel's coffee and come out smiling on the other end. Anna? The Anna Mari, legendary sniper, original Overwatch Strike Squad commander, the bane of Moto. <laughs> the bane of most of your. Oh, they did not. They did not have to. They did not have to do her like that. They did not have to do her like that. What's she doing here? Anna, what are you doing here? Are you hurt? Oh, I'm always aching somewhere. You know that. And who's this? This is Sapphire. My... She blesses Pink Mercy. How dare you, knowing that you are never bringing back Pink Mercy. Uh, date. I'm Angela's date. Date. Oh, that was a good answer. I'm Angela's date. At, at Anna's eyes, pin mercy in place. Dr. Angela Zeiger, are you blushing? Absolutely not. It is extremely hot here. Hmm. Her gaze pierces you, and you know those eyes have seen the world's most dangerous criminals 
and their final moments. Is she gonna kill me? I always love for Rhea to look for someone who's not afraid to speak up. I'm glad you found someone like that, Angela. It was nice meeting you, Sapphire. She leaves. Angela clears her throat and avoids eye contact with you. Um, I'll see you when the shift ends. Eyes. Oh, she said eye. Oh, it's, it's the one eye. You're alone, just wondering what, what just happened. Well done, you've impressed Ana Amari. Where the heck, yeah, where the heck were you? I was, I was drowning, sir. Sir, sir, I was drowning. Where were you? Where the heck were you? Some mortals frighten even the gods themselves. The important matter is you impressed a close friend and Anna's opinion of you will heavily influence your fate with Dr. Ziegler. And speaking of faith, are you ready to see how your journey ends? No, I'm just gonna run away and cry. Wait, hang on, I need to save that. No, I'm just gonna run away and cry. You turn to flee, but you run straight into mercy and so Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I wanna load this one. Is this the same one? Load. Is it this one? Oh! Do I? Oh, okay, I'm confused. And coffee enthusiastically. And go back to volunteering. Yada 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 yada. It's Anna. Uh, I'm her date. Yeah, it says eyes, but it should be I. Cause she only has one. Yeah, thanks for all your help. It was a test and you passed. I feel proud to call when you one of my disciples. Excuse me? I solo carried this whole date, Hanzo. How dare you? Indeed, with my guidance. Don't forget to... Hanzo! Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty confident. We'll see. Yeah, I'm not, I wanted to talk about something with you. I'm gonna follow her. I'm not gonna... Hang on, I need to save. Uh, save. Yes, I'm gonna override that slot. Oh, it's the same thing. Okay, it's the same thing, so we can trash this one. Run away! So awkward, so embarrassing, so cringe. Cupid, I'm gonna go. Living a life of reckless abandon and zero comedy is easier than defining a relationship with healthy boundaries. <laughs> Oof! Yeah, Hanzo also fears. I would, I would fear Anna too. Happy, like first of all, she's a grandma and a sniper, the two most dangerous things in the universe. <laughs> Stop. Damn. Face your fears. Who knows? There might even be a pleasant surprise for you. Are you alright? You're exhibiting signs of a fever, flushed cheeks, sweating, and general weakness. I'm alright. Would you like to talk about some? I would like to talk about something with you if that's alright with you. Okay, I have to follow her. <laughs> it's like, so it's like, run away! It's like, and Hondo, Hondo pulling you back like, oh no you don't! <laughs> Uh, to the top of the clinic, uh, sign your car. Wow! Spectacular, isn't it? I come up here often after a long shift. Go take a view of the city. The Nile is sparkling orange from the sun setting. Freeways gathering around the shores. You know, all the cutesy, cutesy stuff. Get me my Hanzo. So what did you want to talk about? Uh, thank you for the last few days. You saw instead of judgment and acts and fears, humor, compassion, kindness, yada yada. 
that sounded like you exist in this world, it makes me want to believe in it a little stronger and fight for it a little harder. I want to show you something. Take my hand. Come see the world's and loves I do in all 2D. Wait, 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 hang on. Uh, let me save here. I'll accept her friendship. Since when did she change outfits? Hang on. She changed she changed her whole outfit. The Valkyrie wings spread open, takes your hand, and you both soar above the clouds. Alright, who should we help first? You've embarked on a journey of love and found what you just takes any forms and you cherish this friendship forever and always. Okay, I love you more than Junkrat loves bombs. Okay, home screen. Let me load. So let me load this. I'll accept her love. Okay. I'm a lover and a fighter. Okay, so that gets me that one. So, I got all of these rewards. So, can I date Hanzo now? It is, oh, it's a black screen. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, close. Close, close, close. <gasps> Yay, we can date Hanzo now. Okay, this is what we've been waiting for. This is what we've been waiting for. <laughs> Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna wait for the little viewfinder to catch up. Yes, I know pun. Get your E's in now. Hold on, wait a moment, Sapphire. Where am I? Why are we in Hanamora? <laughs> we are in Hanamora right now. You are in the realm of- Why is the realm of love Hanamora? Yeah, it looks like the one 2CP map that I was always good at that they decided to remove from the game. The what map? Come on. <laughs> Come on, I know you can't wait, pun. You know that old game mode from, from the before time? Blizzard! Can you pause your brilliant <laughs> Oh, you think I have brilliant wit. Never mind, get the- <laughs> I will, I will. God, I kind of want Cole Cassidy to just show up at the end and be like, what you doing talking to my man? Uh, for this one. Wait, 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 one more comment. Get it out your system. <laughs> Where do I save? Hang on, I need to save this. Uh, I can trash these files because Mercy was the easy dating path. Um, my lips are dry. So we're gonna. Oh, we're gonna delete these. So, do we go on like three dates with Hanzo? I would love three dates with Hanzo. When will you add other heroes as an option? If you let me fit, there's a th there's about to be a third option. Your devotion to winning and trust of all these heroes is admirable. So there are arts, but to mine as well. Why is it at that angle? Oh my god! Look at how awkward that angle is! That doesn't even look like Hanzo! As a token of my respect. You take his gift. Except... You're the third- What? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I need a save. I need a save. You are my soulmate all along. Oh wow, this is cheesy. 
Hey, shouldn't you be shooting me at the cell? There's no need. You've already cheered stuck. Cupid Hanzo. Okay. Can I load a game pal? Wait, here. Is this a secret ending? You would find out faster if you let me finish. Yada yada yada. Okay, so that's a token of his respect. Take his gifts. I couldn't ask for a better wingman than you. I get because I wings. Thanks for explaining the joke. You're welcome. Okay. Okay, so I guess that's all the options. So we're just gonna go to camera talk. And I'm just gonna close this. Because <laughs> I'm like, okay, so we played the dating sim, so. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm glad that there was or wasn't any voice acting. I don't know if it, it was mega cute pun. It was mega cute, but I'm not sure if I would have liked the voice acting more or less. I'm not totally sure. It's like, I imagine Paul and like, I imagine, I imagine the, all the voice actors would be into it because it would be funny, but still. Um, but no, this was a very special stream. <laughs> Um, so unlike all the other videos that get scheduled to like, you know, uh, get put up, um, a couple of days after they stream or they get put up in order, this one's going up like immediately because, you know, um, I want the sweet, sweet YouTube views because, you know, I'm a professional, but no, thank you all so much for joining this emergency stream of me streaming lover watch. Um, I got the secret ending. It wasn't really that hard. Um, I think I got all the achievements. I wonder if I, uh, I wonder if you could claim those cards in game. I, I don't know, but, um, we will find out on Friday, on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday when, you know, we get back to our regular schedule. <laughs> well, and, um, yeah, thank, thank you all so much for joining me. And I had so much fun. So see y'all later. Bye.